Culture this week, we look ahead to Jib Talks. In its third edition, the event on Saturday will once again feature a variety of speakers on a range of subjects. The focus has always been on the anecdotal, personal and light-hearted. Uh, whereas we've had obviously people from the, the kind of uh, political circles to sporting, uh, art, culture uh, and, and people who, you know, in the past few years they've just emerged as individuals with interesting stories and, um, and so I think there's, there's, there's a lot for, for everyone. The challenge is, is in narrowing down, you know, there's certainly no shortage of, of people who've got things to say. Um, so we start off with quite a long list and then gradually we, we, we cut that down uh, precisely to offer a bit of variety. Um, the difficulty is, is more in, in, in choosing who to have and, and, and whether those people are available or not and then, and then putting everything together. From politics to life-changing experiences and unique cultural traits, the subjects on offer are diverse with speakers including former Chief Minister Peter Catuana, Olympian Georgina Kassar and the FSC's CEO, Samantha Barras. We caught up with some of the others. Um, well, I thought I would go from a point of a personal experience and when I was um, in my O-level year, my teacher branded me inadequate to do my O-level and that has had a big impact in my life and my development as a student and although my passion was dancing, it still influenced my progression as to when, when and if I was going to go to study or not. And I think it may inspire people or um, show how sensitive teachers have to be to their students. And I always have that at the back of my mind. Yeah, I'm really happy. However, I'm a bit nervous at the same time. Now, your talk is going to focus on living with the disabilities, so is it going to be about your personal journey? Just to accept disability. I am still a human. I want to be accepted. It's who I am. I'll be explaining how I managed to, through, through a book I found, how I managed to become more positive and sort of gain appreciation of the little things in life that go unnoticed. So I'll be explaining how, how I got to that point, how I got to where I am now, and how I can possibly help other people to find happiness too. Because I'm not that used to public speaking, so I'm using a lot of visuals. I've got a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, just images, no text. And I hope to just make people laugh and stay positive throughout. Doors open on Saturday at 10 a.m. with the event running until 5. Tickets priced at £5 are available from the John McIntosh Hall or online on buytickets.gi.